Hi friends, once again back to biologyexamsorry.com. Today the topic of our discussion is why do we need a scientific name? Like this Felis catus for cat. So let's take an example of this beautiful cat. In Arabic, this cat is called as Quat. In Chinese, it's Mao. In Hindi, it is Billy. In Russian, it is Cot. So the same organism is called by different names in different language in different country. Sometimes even in within a country in different locality, the name of this particular organism may differ. So this is a problem faced by biologists around the world. Then they came up with the solution and that is the scientific name. For each organism we have multiple names. So we don't have a name that is universal, that is known to everyone all around the globe. That's a problem in science. As per the recent studies, more than 70% of species are still unknown. So we have named only few species that we know now. There should be some rules and regulations to name the species that we are going to explore. And even with the common name, some names are often misleading. Often a misnomer. Take this case ringworm, it is not at all a worm, it's a fungus. So this is jellyfish. This jellyfish has nothing to do with a fish. It belongs to invertebrates. It's related to corals and anemones and belong to the phylum Nidaria. This organism doesn't have heart, brain, etc. So this is a misnomer. Jellyfish, it is not at all a fish. So in common name, there are many misleading things, there are many misnomers. To avoid all these things, we have scientific name. Now what is a scientific name? Let's take this beautiful cat as an example. Scientific name uses binomial nomenclature or two word naming system. The name of a species is denoted by two names. The first name is called as a generic name and the second name is called as the specific name or specific epithet. The third one, this Lin, is called as other citation. This is the abbreviation of Linnaeus who described or who published this name for the first time as Feliscatus. In short, scientific name is a two-way naming system in which the first part is called as a generic name and the second part, this Catus, is called as a specific name. And this third part, other citation, is optional. In the case of scientific name, this name is put forward in accordance with the rules and regulations that is put forward by ICBN and ICISADN. ICBN is for Plants International Code for Botanical Nomenclature. Now it is called as ICN, International Code of Nomenclature for Algae, Fungi and Plants. Whereas for animals, the code is provided by ICISADN. So each organism is having a unique name. This cat is known to biologists all around the world as Felis catus. And this name seldom changes. Then this is a universally accepted name and that is known to everyone around the globe. This Felis catus denote the same organism all around the globe. And finally, these scientific names are often descriptive names that provide some information about this organism. Take this case Felis catus. Cat means domestic cats that we have and Felis means this cat is related to the big cats that is the lion, tiger etc. So this name will often provide some general information about the organism. Hope you got the importance of scientific name in science. You are with biologyexamsforay.com Thank you so much for your support.